We've been talking a little bit about nitric oxide just to review. Nitric oxide is a gas and it's made from eating nitrates in your diet. That's primarily dark green leafy vegetables. If you think of nitrates and you think of hot dogs or bacon or you know those types of uh, processed meats, that accounts for, what is it, only 5% of the nitrates come from that, which is good and smart of your body because uh, those types of overly processed meats are uh, known to be carcinogenic. So we don't want a lot of that in our diet, but we definitely want dark green leafy vegetables, which uh, contributes 85% of how you make, nit make nitric oxide. And 10% um, comes from swallowing your own saliva. So I think most of us swallow our own saliva, you don't spit it out. And, uh, but how healthy is that saliva? So that's the key. So the reason I wanted to talk about toothpaste is that when you eat the nitrates from the dark green leafy vegetables, you want then turn them into nitrites and then you turn it into nitric oxide. But the enzyme that accounts for getting that ultimate product of the nitric oxide occurs um, not naturally in any mammal, including humans, so we don't make this enzyme. We actually get it from our bacteria. So you have to have healthy bacteria in your mouth, where this all starts, healthy bacteria in your gut, in order to make this very important nitric oxide. And uh, nitric oxide is um, oxygenates tissues, it relaxes your blood vessels, so that's the association with high blood pressure and heart disease. Also in association with diabetes, if you know anybody with diabetes, um, a lot of uh, neuropathies happen, that's to the nerves being injured, lack of circulation, so it damages kidneys and eyes, people lose circulation into their feet. So all of this has to do with circulation. All of this has to do with oxygenation. Therefore, it all has to do with nitric oxide. So really, really critical that we produce this. Now, um, you produce it in your, your mouth, as we mentioned in the gut. Uh, we also produce it in the lining of our blood vessels, but we're only good at doing that up until about the age of 40, and then it really drops off very precipitously. So what do we need? Back to the healthy bacteria in your mouth and gut. So uh, when it comes to your mouth, if you use mouthwash, that completely annihilates these good bacteria. So if you're using mouthwash, stop immediately. And I'm talking to apparently two thirds of the US population. I had no idea that mouthwash was, was popular. I just didn't, I've never used it. And so anyway, just wasn't on my radar. I'm, I'm not a dentist by trade, but uh, yeah, it just annihilates these good bacteria. You want to stop that. And also, if you have a toothpaste that has fluoride, if it has sodium lauryl sulfate, uh, you want to stop that as well because the fluoride destroys the, the good bacteria also. And I know you've heard your dentist with the fluoride treatments and all of that, um, but that it really has been refuted. Fluoride is a toxin, and uh, while it can somewhat help with teeth, the, the, the downsides of fluoride as a toxin especially in this relationship of destroying these good bacteria in your mouth and not allowing you to produce nitric oxide far outweighs any benefit fluoride might have on your teeth. Um, I did some research on the best toothpaste, so I wanted to share my experience with that. So there's an ingredient called hydroxyapatite, which is a part of our bone, bone structure. So it's a natural constituent in our body, nothing foreign about it and what are our teeth, they, they are bone. And so uh, toothpaste with hydroxyapatite just literally helps to remineralize bone. So it can prevent a cavity from getting worse. I've also heard some uh, researchers say that if it's a very small cavity, it can help remineralize it. So in other words, reverse a small cavity. So this is very exciting if you if you have children, but really for all of us. I mean, uh, I never had such great teeth until I got um, gum recession, and that was from clenching my teeth. Uh, that type A personality has its liabilities. So um, yeah, all of a sudden as, as, you know, as an adult after having great teeth, I'm starting to get cavities uh, where I've lost my enamel. So uh, it is very important to find, if you can, a biologic dentist, somebody who can really look at your teeth um, 
uh, quite deeply, kind of from a root cause analysis and natural, not just, um, you know, say, here's your fluoride, here's whatever toothpaste, but really understands the importance of this. So that is critical. If you do, um, if you've been fearful of the dentist, you're going to have to toughen it up and, and go, go find one that you feel comfortable with because uh, oral health is very, very important. Uh, we spoke a little bit of last week, I believe, about a bacteria called P. gingivalis in the mouth, and that can actually lead to dementia and Alzheimer's uh, later in life. So oral health, very important. I have no affiliation with the um, toothpaste I'm about to talk about, but I've gotten one already. It's called Boca, and B-O-C-A. Boca means mouth in Spanish, so perhaps it was a Spanish company originally, but um, very interesting. I didn't know what to expect. I just knew it had this good ingredient, hydroxyapatite, and none of the bad ingredients. But if you, you know when you go get your teeth cleaned, your teeth feel really good for a few days. Um, it has that nice kind of super clean feeling. And that's what this toothpaste does. The other nice thing about it, if you have children, um, they can swallow it and it's not a problem because if, and a lot of times people don't realize this, is that toothpaste says, says on the label, like, do not swallow. So, um, I can't imagine that children don't do that all the time, let alone adults to some degree, but this one's fine if you swallow it and they actually tell you not to rinse it. So you brush your teeth, just spit, and then, then leave any residual there. Don't, you don't have to rinse it. It's better if you don't. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting. I, can, I could really uh, feel the difference, which I, I was surprised. Uh, the other company is called Rise Well. I ordered one of those as, as well. I haven't received it yet, so I'll, I'll let you know when I do. Um, but really the topic here today is appreciating that your mouth, the, the oral bacteria in your mouth uh, are either moving you toward good health or really drastically away from good health with no nitric oxide leading to high blood pressure, um, stroke and heart disease, also ED, also dementia, and diabetes. And I'm gonna do a special, um, uh, a separate talk on diabetes and its relationship to nitric oxide. And then um, hopefully by the end of the week, I'll have some exciting news on, on a, a supplement that's gonna be available that uh, is, is pretty exciting in this field. Because remember that nitric oxide is a gas and it lasts for less than a second. <laughs> so, um, which it doesn't need to last longer because it just, boom, it initiates all these great responses, but, but you have to make it. And uh, that requires healthy oral bacteria. So um, if you have questions, please let me know. I'd love to know what other topics you want to hear about. If you like the channel, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, tell others. I really want more people to know that they have options to their health and not just um, mainstream drug, drug, and more drug. Um, not to say drugs can't be helpful, they can, but there's, there's, there are better ways in most circumstances.